What's good creatives? I hope that everyone is having a creative day and I want to talk to you guys about music video lighting setups. So last week YC Imaging came down to Atlanta and we had a chance to make a video together in Studio Space Atlanta. So originally YC Imaging said he wanted to book out the studio space and create a video and I was like well cool since we're going to get a space let me do a video as well on music video lighting setups too. So I got a chance to use YC as my subject and I made three quick music video lighting setups so let's get into those right here. So this first setup right here, I had the 120D with the Fresnel attachment. Typically I would use a light dome, maybe the bigger light dome or the mini, I'm not sure, either one would work. But we had the Fresnel on, we didn't have a dome with us, so I just used the Fresnel and I went at a side angle, a 90 degree angle shooting on the side of his face. I had the light on a C stand, so on the opposite side, kind of towards the back, I had a kicker light, which was a two foot quasar tube light, and I had it set all the way to tungsten, so it was an orange light, and I had it kind of bouncing off the other side of his head. So these are the lights that I use for all the setups, but I kind of like this setup. It's very simple, very easy to set up, and it looks good. Here on this second setup, we kind of have more of a stylistic setup. So again, I use the 120D with the Fresnel, and if you don't know about the Fresnel, the, the, the new Fresnel is amazing by Aperture. So what you could do is you could screw it forward and backwards, and you can make a floodlight, or you can make a spotlight. It's like a super dope attachment for your 120D for specific looks. So what I did is I set it up behind him and shot it directly at the camera, and I put him right in front of it, so it kind of like silhouettes him out. Now you can see the outline around his head and there's also some really cool particles floating in the air I guess it's just like from lint on shirts or in your hair or whatever the case may be the particles made it look really really cool now what I did on the front side to kind of like key light him a tad bit was I took that orange tungsten two-foot quasar lamp and I wrapped it with a red gel I added that red just to kind of add like some red into it because it was already like a dark silhouetted scene and a little bit of red doesn't do anything but make it a little bit better so then I took that shutter speed up and I had him perform like he was an actual artist and as you can see it's a very dope look here we have our third setup it's really really cool and stylistic looking what I did is I have the 120d once again shooting at a 45 degree angle downward onto my subject which is YC we also have these cool three chairs that I spotted out in the studio they look really cool you can easily go to like a thrift store and find like some chairs that are cheap and buy those and bring them into a music video set anywhere you want I kind of liked it because it was a black wall with some texture on it really rugged looking so what I decided to do then was take my quasar two foot keep it on tungsten and that orange look and I kind of tilted it diagonal and I taped it on the wall with gaffers tape right behind my subject so now what this is doing is adding that cool element into the video where it's hitting the back of his head so it's showing the outline of him and it's also just a cool look in the background tube lights look really cool when you add them into your scene somewhere in the background it just makes it more stylistic and just a cooler look so now we have YC keyed with a 120d at a 45 degree angle downward on his face to kind of light him up and I can see what he would be rapping if he was an artist and in the background we have a orange quasar light it's kind of bringing out his outline of his head so I kept that shutter speed up kept the camera on a tripod and kind of gave it some camera movement while he was jumping around as if he was an artist to make a really cool look man so those are three simple setups really cool and easy to do you can do it with any kind of light honestly uh, these lights I do recommend because they're just great I would have used a dome the mini dome or the bigger dome for these specific setups just to make the light a little softer the key light except for setup two where it's kind of like shooting directly at him and making a silhouette I like the hard light there but in the other places a key light would have been good if it was softer even if you don't have a budget you can set up these music video looks with cheaper lights you can even get flood lights at Walmart you can get worker lights and bounce them off boards for your soft light but like I said I do recommend these lights check out quasarscience.com check out aperture.com these guys are great they are my two favorite lighting companies all around so I hope that you guys got some knowledge out of this I know a lot of people actually hit me up and they're like I gotta shoot tomorrow I got to shoot this coming up weekend and I don't know how to light it what type of light should I get well hopefully this video right here can be a help for those people and anybody else that's just kind of looking for new ways to set up lighting here's a few setups so if you did enjoy this video slap that like button um, all my new creatives here please push subscribe also drop me a comment down below and let me know which setup you guys like the most that would mean a lot to me but I will see you guys in the next video peace